What's up guys? Gary G, I'm back again. It's been a long time. Um, I took a couple months off from doing farm interviews and uh, just get back into it. I'm uh, pretty excited about doing it. I hope you guys will have me. I know there's been quite a few uh, new reviewers that have come up and uh, I just want to get right back into it. Um, first of all, I want to thank uh, Cameron Alexander for making that intro for me. That's right there, the new intro. I think it's really cool. It's kind of funny. Um, and uh, we're just going to go straight into it. Uh, the pomade I'm going to review today is Tor and Roby Executive Slick. Now this is their light pomade. I got the whole line. I'm going to be doing a review on all of them. Um, I want to thank you to uh, Tadashi from Hedgeline.com for sending me these. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the design is uh, the same on all the tins. It's pretty basic. Um, the logo here is pretty cool. I dig that. Nice colors. I like the green against the black. Looks real cool. So the only thing that concerned me about this, this pomade, is the ingredients list. And the reason why is if you look real close, you might not be able to see it, but what it says is the ingredients are petrolatum, coconut oil, and fragrance. Now if you know anything about pomade, you know that your hold comes from your wax. So if there's no wax, where's the hold? So I have a buildup in my hair of uh, this that I used yesterday. And uh, I'll just tell you one thing. It's not the exact type of buildup that you would think. Since there's no wax in it, you're not getting that useful extra wax content. What you're getting is your oils and a little bit of petroleum. Now I will say this. Yesterday when I when I did my hair, it styled pretty quick. Um, and I actually got a decent style out of it. But I was afraid to move. <laughs> I was so afraid to move because my contour was going to fall apart. Shine's great. The performance when I combed it was great. But as far as endurance, I had to uh, recomb it quite a bit. Okay, so I'm going to get right into scooping this. It literally looks like petroleum jelly. You scoop it out, I'm putting like no pressure onto it. Like this. Let me just... Bam. Go right back into it. Now this is made uh, in Indonesia, Jakarta, Indonesia. Yeah, Jakarta, Indonesia. Um, I know I, it's Tor and Ruby. I believe it's Ivan Tor, and I don't know who the other guy is. I, I actually couldn't find uh, much information on this pomade, but it's made in Indonesia, and uh, apparently over there, Tor and Ruby is a uh, pretty popular pomade. So I am all for trying. Uh, Foreign pomades. I have no problem trying them. But you have to understand that pomades that are made for different parts of the world that have different uh, types of weather and things like that, they're going to perform better maybe for the people over there, maybe not so much over here. Um, from what I've heard though, the people that have reviewed this pomade, this is, uh, is well liked actually. You'd be surprised how well it performs for just having such a simple ingredients list. So, I was excited to try it out yesterday. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't disappointed. I was actually impressed with the fact that it just has petroleum and oil, and then it actually did so well. Um, I wouldn't really bag on it for having to recomb a lot just because that's what it is, you know. It's a light pomade. Slip this here back. It slicks back like nothing. Um, I do feel a little more resistance today than I did yesterday, which is which I'm actually happy about because then maybe that'll mean I'll get a little more hold out of it. Um, but I'll tell you what, this pomade here would be a real nice topper. That's for sure. Be a real nice topper. <laughs> so you can put that over the top of uh, something else that you want to. I get the smell from it. It's like a. a like a somewhat floral, kind of a classic, like a real, like think of classic pomades, a little bit of floral on it, it smells good, until the down. <coughs> Let me go ahead and find my part here. So 
So, Sarah's coming over quite nice. It does have a little more resistance than it did yesterday. So, I like that. Hopefully I'll get more, more ability to style out of this. So it's been a while since I've done a pomade review and uh, I'm gonna try to make up for that by doing, doing uh, quite a few to get back into it. Um, I have probably like 10 pomades to review. I've got a lot of pomades to review and all of them are foreign. I'm ready to dabble into the foreign pomade market. I've got all three of these, uh, Tor and Robies. I've got Cutthroat, which I was really excited about. I've been wanting to get Cutthroat for a long time, but the shipping was just crazy. Uh, I've got Don Bucho, all three of those. Very excited to try that. And then I have Wolfhead. Um, I hadn't heard of it, but I heard apparently it used to be Southside Soaps, which I know about Southside Soaps, so I'm uh, down to try that out, man. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Some people don't like foreign pomades. There's some uh, some people, a reviewer, which I'm not going to name anybody. Doesn't really care for uh, foreign pomades, it seems, unless they're groundbreaking, which I, 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 think, I guess I understand that. I'm totally cool with that. But at the same time, you just got to take it for what it is. You know what I mean? Well, just like I said before, if this works really awesome over there, cool. Um, but as far as paying international shipping to get stuff that's not groundbreaking, I don't know if I would do that personally. Um, which is why I like, love actually, Hedgeline. I'm totally stoked on Hedgeline. And now if anybody here is ordered from Hedgeline, you're totally stoked on it too because Tadashi is uh, taking out that that shipping, man. We get to get uh, some foreign pomades for a good price. So I'm happy about that. I'm real happy about that. Especially when uh, I saw that they were carrying uh, Cutthroat, man. I was totally stoked on that because I, man, I really didn't want to try it, but I just couldn't bring myself to spend that much money on the shipping. I think it ended up being like $20 shipping or something. It was going to be crazy. And I just, just can't bring myself to spend just as much, if not more, on shipping than the product itself. So. But, uh. Thank you, Tadashi. I know we all appreciate that, man. That's totally cool. And what's even more cool about it, I'm here in Modesto, California. And uh, he's in San Francisco, which is only about an hour and a half. So, man, I got I got my appointments from him real quick. And you know that that anticipation you get when you're buying appointments, man, it's like kills you. You're like, oh, I got to check on USPS. And USPS sucks. So, usually never comes in when they say it's going to. They don't put on time until it's literally a day before it's going to show up. So you never even know. You're sitting there waiting on the day of. You know, a day afterwards it says on time. Oh, it's not on time to me. <laughs> so, Anyways, man, I'm just, I'm excited to be back in the pomade reviewing uh, game. There's some good dudes out there doing pomade reviews right now. Cameron's gotten awesome. He was always good. He's getting even better, man. Super cool dude. He just... Out of nowhere, I asked him, hey man, can you send me like a, a like a video type intro thing? And he was totally down to do it. Absolutely stoked to do it. And uh, it's real cool dude. Drew Tompkins, brother, if you're watching this, welcome back, man. I'm so stoked you're back on the site. Need to get him pomade reviewing again, man. He is funny. D Ramos came back. That's crazy. That fool got me into to uh, doing pomade reviewing in the beginning, and I, I really hope that it uh, gets back into it. D, if you're listening, better get back into it, man. These people are missing out. Missing out, brother. All right, I'm done. This looks slick to me. You look at the part, the part's awesome. Love it. Looking good. Don't I don't get a ton of height out of it, but it's a light pomade, so you kind of don't really expect that. 
on the back. Hopefully it looks good. Right there, we'll go ahead and slip it a little bit more. Right there. Hopefully I'm getting that nice and slick back there. I think it looks pretty good. Um, overall feel of Tor and Roby, Executive Slick. It's a good pomade. I don't know if it's something I would use a lot, especially because we're coming into summer. Um, in winter time, I'd probably use it. But uh, the complaints that I have from this is it just made my head really greasy. Super greasy pomade. Um, right here, it's shine all day. My ears felt greasy, back of my neck. And that really had to happen in the pomades that I've tried. So I've tried mostly American pomades. Um, and I know it's hot over there, so I don't know, I guess it works. Anyways, um, if you guys like this, or you want to get pretty much any other pomade that's trending right now, go over to hedgeline.com. Uh, Tadashi's got all of it over there with his free shipping. And uh, he's a really good guy to work with, okay? So once again, review for Tor and Roby Executive Slip. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I'm glad to be back. Peace out.